right, thanks for stopping by and watching this video or listening to this video. This is definitely something new I've never done before. Uh, it's pretty much going to be considered like a podcast type of video. Um, like I said, bear with the audio. I did my best trying to put this together. Uh, this is actually a fan, Brandon. He's got a GoFundMe page. I'm going to put a link to the GoFundMe page in the description of this video. But like I said, it will mean a lot to me if you guys listen to the video or watch the video. Uh, there's a lot that we're talking about here. It's just two guys talking about life, family, future, cars, uh, and also gratitude. I think it's very, very important. Uh, this guy, Brandon, down in Tampa, Florida, is looking to start up a mobile detailing business. This is the guy that I selected for the Max Shine M15 polisher, if anybody wants to know about that. But listen to the story. We're going live now. I called him, and the connection wasn't that good, so I did the best with the audio. So please bear with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed uh, shooting it. I enjoyed speaking with him. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please post your comments below, and I would love to do that with, uh, with fans or anybody else that's interested in talking one-on-one -on, -one on a particular subject. So we're going to go to the video right now. And if you can, if you want to just tell people your story, a little bit about your background, your relationship with your dad, and what exactly you want to do. And like I said, what was really important is when you sent me the GoFundMe and we talked on the phone, is how even though you didn't even get this off the ground, you have the intent of helping Meals on Wheels and helping donate meals. And to be honest with you, that's why I contacted you. That's why... You know, I had hundreds and hundreds of people email me that they wanted that polishing kit, okay? And a lot of them are, you know, very good young kids. They're very credible. They show me their work. They show me their passion, and, and I love that. I, I just love the fact that, you know, when I started doing cars, I was a young kid, and I had that passion. Now today, with social media, it's gotten even bigger, which is, which is, really, yeah. which is really great. So if guys like me on YouTube or whatever can inspire the younger generation – that's that's positive reinforcement that's given back so that's good yeah. so your situation your situation was a little different because you have a GoFundMe that you're putting in relation to you, your, your, your late father uh, yes. you're not happy with the current work situation down in Florida you've been bouncing back and forth you also you're not married you don't have kids so you have an advantage okay yes. uh, you're 36 years old and the other thing too is you have a disabled mom that's not able to work, and you're taking that next role of paying her bills and helping her out. And right there, yes. when I heard that story, I was like, you know what? I got to reach out to you. I want to talk to you. I want to learn more about you. And I shared a little bit about my story with you, and, and that's why we're talking right now. And, you know, if you can, just you know, tell everybody a little bit about what your plans are, why you want to do it, and, you know, why you need a little bit of help to raise some money to get a little bit of odds and ends to get you off the ground with this new uh, business you're trying to launch. Absolutely, Phil. Um, and first off, too, I, I do want to thank you for um, reaching out as fast as you did, um, uh, especially with social media and you being so uh, relevant on YouTube as well. Uh, I, I Just to touch on the facts that, um, you know, I, for those who don't know me, my name is Brandon Bueno Rivera. Uh, I lost my father in uh, May 18, 2018 to congestive heart failure at the age of 59. Uh, my father and I were very close. Uh, he raised four children that were, weren't his. He married my mother with four kids. Uh, raised us as his own children. Moved us out, uh, you know, a very uh, dangerous uh, neighborhood in the Bronx, New York, uh, McCombs Road to be exact, 1674 McCombs Yeah, Road. I know. I know where that is. There you go. So uh, he moved us out to uh, Seaborn, New Jersey, which happened to be the one of the most beautiful towns. Still to this day, it holds a place in my heart. And... Uh, um, I moved there, I went to high school, my father worked full time while my mother worked, uh, her passion was, my mother was an entrepreneur as well, uh, her passion was selling clothes, vintage clothing, She's, uh, she, she does vintage jewelry as well, and that helps with her illness that she battles, uh, and the reason why I started the GoFundMe campaign is because my father was my biggest supporter, uh, you know, just always supporting any idea, any motivation I had, and he always had a saying that he said, Brad, you know, a job is a job. You can always get another job. If you have a dream and there's something that you want to go after, go after it. And continue going after it. You're going to run, you're going to run into obstacles. You're going to fail, you know, but don't let that beat you down. And that's something that I've always held close to me uh, while my father was here. But with him being gone now, I've, uh, that's begun to resonate in me and grow and manifest into 
something so much bigger than myself, and that's the reason why I came up with the GoFundMe campaign to remember some of my father, Tampa Pete, uh, Peter, a.k.a. Tampa Pete Rivera. Exactly. So like I said, so we, what, what Brandon is trying to do, he wants to start up a mobile detailing business. Uh, he's already making some connections with some fleets and some other family and friends and stuff in the area, but he doesn't have the money to invest in buying all the equipment. Now, Brandon, you're trying to do this all on your own. And uh, so what I'm going to do is, and like I said, we spoke about it. I'm going to give you a jump start, okay? And this is what I'm going to give you. And I don't need the money for the shipping. I don't need anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am I'm already got everything packed up in the warehouse. So we're going to get it on the way to you. So... We're going to give you the Max Shine Shine Master M15 polisher, brand new in the box, okay? We're giving you that. I'm going to give you a set of Lake Country polishing pads. I'm going to give you a case of Auto Fanatic wheel cleaner. I'm going to give you a case of Auto Fanatic 007. I'm going to give you a case of Auto Fanatic secret weapon. And I'm even going to give you a case or whatever's left over of the Auto Fanatic 007 snow foam, which is just going into bottling this morning. And whatever's left that I'm going to keep for my personal use, I'm going to put some aside and I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to give you a professional foam cannon. I'm going to give you a professional foam gun in case you don't have a power washer yet. You can still wash cars with a garden hose. Now, that's going to get you really a good jump start. Okay, I'm going to throw some sprayers. Whatever I got laying around that will give you help, that's going to give you enough that you could take what I send you and you're going to make some money because that's what I want you to do. I want you to take what I send you, and I want you to make some money. So it's gonna be about $1,000 worth of stuff I'm gonna send you, okay? And all I ask for you, I don't, want, I don't want money, I don't want anything, you can do two things. You be a brand ambassador, you spread the word in Florida for Auto Fanatic. I wanna see updates. Even if it's like the littlest job, I want you to send me a video chat, an email, something of an update, say, hey Phil, this is what I did this week, this is my progress, this is the new customer I made, look how I did, that's all I care about. And if you want to take it a step further, take whatever money you have left over, if, if you could afford it, after you pay your expenses, after you help your mother out, give that money to any charitable cause you like. And I know you say you have a charitable part for Meals on Wheels, you have a thing for animals, or whatever you want to do, that's what I want you to do, okay? That's my way of giving back to you and helping you out. Because listen, I've been very fortunate in a lot of things that I've done in life. So I don't need the money from a polishing giveaway. I don't charge to do videos when companies send me stuff. I, I, I just don't do it. I do it because I, I enjoy doing it. That's my way of giving back, not just to you, but to my, my fan base and my audience. And they're giving back to me by believing in me, by supporting my story, by supporting the brand, and by buying the products, which is continuing more development and more exciting new things to come. So, hey Brandon, I sent you, you know, the little charitable thing I did this week with St. Jude. That's just a part of it. I have so many things in the pipeline that when we get it off the ground, I have a friend of mine that's going to be helping me with this because I'm in behind the scenes. I'm doing the manufacturing. I'm doing all the other stuff. I can't be on the phone all day making cold calls and trying to make these deals happen. So a good friend of mine, talked to him yesterday. He's going to take over that role, and we're going to start putting some charitable things together. And the first thing I want to do, it's going to blow people's minds. What I'm going to do, not just for St. Jude's, but for children's hospitals all over the United States, and I'm gonna raise money. We also have some web guys that are gonna come on board. We're gonna redo the Auto Fanatic website. And at checkout, we want people to donate to certain foundations. It's gonna be American Cancer Society, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, the ASPCA, Wounded Warrior, for, wo Wounded Warrior for Veterans. So, and all of those donations, every month, once we get the new website platform built, I will shoot a YouTube video and I'll say, look, this is what you guys did this month. If we could raise, if we could raise a thousand dollars, we could raise a hundred thousand. That's all I care about. I'm, I'm there with you. Uh, you're, thank you. I just simply put from my heart, I, I could just say thank you. And you know, you really, you really see how things are just bigger than any one person, and you put yourself at the forefront of that, Phil. And I, I've seen it on your social media. I've seen it on your YouTube's, and I've seen it in action. And now, now I'm a product of it. One of the biggest blessings that's ever come my way, Phil, and it was scary for me to reach out to create a GoFundMe, and I'm no longer scared. I've embraced this fear and gotten over these obstacles to, uh, within myself, and look how, how, look how it's paying off with someone 
as generous as yourself in the in the business for over 25 years manufacturing products and helping me get a head start bill that means the world to me i am extremely extremely grateful and i will go about doing my part to give back yeah exactly listen when, when i start when i started my business in the early 90s you know i'm a young kid a lot of my clients when i was a teenager they didn't know how old i was and these are guys that are giving me their Porsche 911s, you know, Ferraris to work on, their Mercedes. And, yeah. you know, and I'm building them and I'm customizing them. I'm working for hip hop guys and I'm working for all these guys in New York City, you know, these big, big wigs down on Wall Street. And, yeah. you know, they gave me the chance. They believed in me. Okay. And that's the thing. Listen, today it's very hard. You know, everybody's like all skeptical or nobody wants to lend a helping hand. They want to turn, you know, the right. other way. And I don't know, I'm just not that guy. I'm not, I don't believe in that. And I, you know, I see, listen, there's a lot of big YouTubers, a lot of big social influencers out there, and they're making millions of dollars, and I don't see what they're doing to help the community or help anyone else. And, and you know, like I said, Phil, you were at one of my nationally known uh, detailers that are very prevalent on YouTube and social media that I follow that I reached out to directly. I even called them on the phone Google, Google, Googling their numbers, and unfortunately, I was unsuccessful and never heard back from anybody. You're the only person who got back to me from social media. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's funny. Like I, I check, I check my, I sleep very little. I sleep four to five hours a night. I'm like a machine, and uh, people always respond back to me like, "Hey, I wasn't expecting to get a response." I went, I'm like, "Why? Listen, unless you send something to me that's really stupid, I won't respond." But in most cases. If it's some sort of a technical question or some sort of advice, I had a guy email me the other night. I did some work on, I did some upholstery work on his car, and he says, "Hey, he's like, I'm looking to buy a car for a hundred thousand dollars or less, a vintage car, especially car. What can you recommend?" And I sat there for about twenty minutes typing about cars, you know, at eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. And it's like I don't have to do that. And he writes me back, he goes, "Thank you so much. You didn't have to do." It. I'm like, "No, but that's." I almost feel like if I don't do that, I'm not true to who I am, you know? You know, and, and Phil, that, that's amazing because that, like I, I was just saying before, it just goes back to the point that people just put themselves out there and don't take the time to get a respond back to people. You know, they want the followers, they want the comments, they want the, uh, you know, the promotional, um, you know, activity, but they don't want to take the time, a few minutes to take just respond to somebody's question or inquiry. And this is something that I've seen you do on YouTube regularly on Instagram regularly and now I'm living proof of it. I mean that that's just my that's my life, you know, like being in the car business for almost 30 years, that's my life. That's everything about me. So, I don't consider it work. I consider it like, hey, this is just part of socializing. This new person that emailed me could be a friend, he could be the next customer, he could be, you know, a new fan, and that's just the way I think of it. I think of it like, you know what? You have to you have to have some interaction with people because you know, social media does lend itself to some level of fame. I'm not really that guy. Like, I don't want to be famous uh, in that regard. I'd rather have more of uh, more respect. You know, I think that's to me make, means a little bit more uh, and gratitude and everything like that. But you know, with social media, some people let their egos get the best of them. And there are chat and, and I don't want to even mention names, but there are channels out there that I personally have reached out uh, over the years. And try to talk to him and, and the ego was just like yo dude i don't even know how people are watching you because you're so full of crap on the on the yeah. video because in person that's not who you are it, it, and that really destroys a person's character yeah. you know because uh, and you like and one thing the one way for people to understand that you don't want to be famous and really recognize that is you never show your face yeah I, I, it, it's, it's not that character. i don't want my channel to be based on Hey, here's that guy doing this thing. I want my channel to be, you know, people go to my channel. You listen, I can have 500,000 followers, but it's not about followers. It's about quality. People come to my channel to learn. People come to my channel to see cool stuff. They want to learn about content. They want to learn about my passion learned, and they I've get learned, it. I've learned so much um, from watching Auto Fanatics on YouTube and following you on Instagram and seeing how innovative you are and how creative you are. And it's just, it really, uh, I, I look at it as like my school session. Like when I go ahead and I put out two to four hours out my day. Exactly. The first channel I go to is Auto Fanatic. It's Phil. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you're, just, you're always teaching. You're always endorsing some product. You're always giving the truth. And always the passion is definitely felt. I, I feel like I can't stop smiling, Phil. Thank you so much. Boy, I did this, this entire week, this conversation. 
And uh, when we first spoke, you know, we spoke for over 40 minutes from two guys that don't even know each other. Happen to be from the same part of town, but, um, you know, definitely you, you, you see something in me, Phil, that I see in myself. And I really appreciate your endorsement, your encouragement, your support, you know, and most most of all, just having you there in a moment to be able to reach out to you as I have. And, that and I've been in the business all different sectors of automotive, and I'll tell you straight out, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, but there's a lot of headaches that go along with it. And I kind of, you know, tell people, you know, the best thing you could do, and even for you, Brandon, is learn as much skill as you can and master that skill. Never, ever stop practicing, never stop, you know, getting better, never stop learning, because the, the, the moment you stop learning, now you're starting to limit yourself of what you could accomplish with your service business and what you could accomplish for your customers. So like if you see some of the stuff that I do, you know, I show you, I show guys like maybe 5% a little bit about what I do. Uh, you know, welding, auto body, custom paint, upholstery work, detail work, fabrication. So, so I do so many different things and I'm self-taught because, you know, that's a better way when you're running a service business, sometimes you can't rely on your employees always, you know, doing the job or you have an employee that's slacking, or you rely on a company that you contract out to and they just can't deliver. So over the years, you know, as a young kid, I always was like, you know what? I was always intrigued to learn and learn and learn. The more you learn, the better. And then you just take on that role so that when eventually you do grow the business and you go into manufacturing and you go into stuff at a large scale, you know what it takes to produce. You know what it takes to do stuff at a certain level. So that's an advantage if you already know how to do it yourself, that you could make sure you're not getting ripped off, you make sure you get in the right quality. And, and that's really what it's all about because if you don't know how to do it, if somebody throws you a price, say, hey, we're gonna give you a price to bottle your product uh, and, the, and the bottling of the product costs too much money and it eats into your profit, now you already know because you bottled 5,000 bottles yourself and I've done it. I've done it myself. Thousands of bottles I bottled myself because I wanted to see how I can master the technique and the, and the workflow to see how long it would actually take. I got, I got to say something, Glenn. I don't mean to cut you off. I'm so excited to, to, to work with your products directly, exclusively, Phil. Like, it really, really, it's, it's, it's an extremely exciting time, man. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Cool, man. Now, I, think, I think you're going to love it because a lot of the products that, I, that I'm putting out, they all solve problems. They offer great value yes. and they offer incredible results. And listen, I got people around the world. I just shipped a big order to South Africa, Australia, wow. Indonesia. And it's like the, the fact that my, my channel with 40,000 subscribers has that big of an outreach. So that's the trick. Like I tell people all the time, some people email me like, hey, you should have more subscribers. And I'm just like, listen, you could have as many subscribers as you want. How many customers are coming from those subscribers? That's the trick. See, I don't, I didn't, I didn't do YouTube to make money off ads. Okay. I started putting ads on my videos only a few months ago. I decided when I started my channel not to put ads because I didn't want to piss people off to watch my videos because you know how people get annoyed with the ads. So I said to myself, I didn't really do this for that. I didn't come to YouTube for that. I came to YouTube to really share my passion and my knowledge and the feedback made me start the new brand. And they, and, and that's the whole, and I had no business plan set for auto fanatic. This was totally done for fun. Uh, I have other revenue streams at the time and I still do. And the fact that this whole thing has taken over my life, I'll be honest with you, I'm neglecting other things that I should be doing right now, but I'm having, I'm having so much fun. I love the emails that I get every day. I love the support. Uh, I love helping people. You know, I just love giving back and I, and I like when people say, Hey, this stuff is great. It kicks ass. I love it. I'm a supporter for life. And you know what? That's why I get up and I do it every day. Because my biggest vice in my life is I love cars so much that I keep buying too many specialty cars. <laughs> so, you know, I love tools. Well, you worked I, hard. I know. I, I, that's the thing. Like, listen, I don't, you know, some people take, you know, four or five vacations a year. I don't go anywhere. It's like I'm like married to my businesses. And then my only outlet is my cars and that automo what I call the automotive lifestyle. That's my lifestyle. So I'm so immersed in it, you know, by the clothes that I wear, the things that I do, the movies I watch, who I associate with, you know, and, and that's just what I'm all about because, you know, I'm not really, um, I'm a little different in that regard. Like, and I've always, I've always been a fan of cars. I was actually going through uh, one of my old phones that I had from the Dream 
hotel that I, I told you that was at a ballet at. Um, I wanted to upload a bunch of pictures because I saw the uh, the white Porsche, uh, the Porsche Carrera that you posted up. Yeah, yeah, the, ni the 1990, yeah. Yes, I actually, one of my favorite cars that I valeted was the Porsche Carrera, and it was banana yellow, and this guy's car, it was so beautiful, and I didn't have a parking spot, like, in the immediate vicinity, and he said, hey, man, don't worry about it. Feel free to drive it around the block and pick up. I, I, I didn't go pick up any girls, but I drove it around the block twice. Nice. It was one of the most biggest, like, exciting days, like, of my adult life because that's a car that I always loved since I've been a kid, and uh, that I had to drive it. And then when I saw you post it, it just re it re it brought that memory back yeah. in. Me. There's yeah. gonna be some Porsche content, older Porsche content on the on the Auto Fanatic website and channel real soon. So you'll you'll be you'll be liking that real soon. What you're doing to uh, 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 hospital? With um, with uh, Joanna and Chip uh, Gain, correct? I, I mean, it's huge. It really is huge. Uh, and uh, it's one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that link. I'm gonna put that link up with all my posts uh, for the entire month, and uh, probably even continue going forward. But I, that's something that it really resonated with me, and you, you touched a place in my heart you know, due to my family members. You know, me having a family member with him. Mess, but also one of my cousins with Hutchinson syndrome. So it really does mean a lot because I see what you're doing. You're doing so much. Exactly. So if anybody, you know, any of you guys that are watching this video, my fans around the world, whatever, you, if you get some time, go over to, to the Auto Fanatic website. I posted a little story um, in the Automotive Lifestyle News section. You know, I talk a little bit about really, you know, how I grew up as a child and certain things about gratitude and things that I was taught by being around my family. Uh, and I think that's really important. And you know, now that I'm at the point where I'm an adult, you know, I've achieved so many levels of success, you know, I still feel giving back is so crucial uh, to, to containing and, and, you know, keep going with that momentum, you know, moving forward. Because if you go through life and you're very successful, you have a lot of monetary things, tangible things, uh, the most important thing in life is health, health, family, and friends, okay? But, uh, you know, you could, you could win the lotto right now, and if all you care about is how you're gonna spend it on yourself, you don't deserve that, you know, that's just my opinion. But, um, you know, like, and like I said, just read that story, you guys might like it. And Brandon, I'm gonna post up um, a link to your GoFundMe in the video. And you, yeah, all I'm gonna really ask you guys, like, you know, all the Auto Fanatic fans that are gonna watch this video, I don't know how many views it's gonna get, I've never done something like this before, um, but I definitely think it's important because I wanted to get you involved in this, is if you could go to his GoFundMe page, and just give a helping hand. It's whether you gotta give a dollar, you give five dollars, you give two dollars, it doesn't matter. If we could help Brandon get off the ground into a successful auto detailing business in Tampa, Florida, then just you know do it for him, do it for Auto Fanatic, do it for me. Uh, I'm giving him a head start, I'm giving him about a thousand dollars worth of stuff. And uh, I think it's gonna be a win-win for everybody. And Brandon, what, what I'm gonna do is, um, once, we, once we get some of these charitable, um, plans ironed out you know because there's a lot of little uh, loopholes and logistics involved with some of this charitable stuff when you get to a certain level uh i would like you to be involved in it even if you have to uh take time and fly out to meet me and you know and and we'll do something like that one day uh because like th th there's a lot of plans i have i want to start i want to start doing some charitable car shows uh for children i also want to do some stuff for the you know for animal shelters and aspca same thing that you mentioned the other day uh, you know, and for also for the veterans, because believe it or not, I have a, I have a lot of customers in military, and I have a lot of respect for the military, and that's another big thing as far as the charities that I do. And I mentioned that in one of my videos back in October, how I'm donating the money for 500 of the first 500 orders. The, the same day that I launched the web store, if you read my story, you did. It was a total total nightmare. Uh, I didn't know where people are gonna buy where people are gonna buy my products. Was my video gonna flop and not get views? And I'm in the emergency room with my dad, and I didn't know what was going on when I got delivery of my new car. So, yeah. and I said, you know, in the intro of the video, in that video intro I shot about a week prior, I said the first 500 orders is gonna go to St. Jude, it's gonna go to Wounded Warrior, and it's gonna go to ASPCA. And you know what? After that weekend, that's what happened. So we're gonna continue that. We're gonna continue that momentum. Keep building the fan base. Keep building the awareness. And I really, if I could, you know, give a little bit of my passion to guys like you and become part of that automotive lifestyle, because that's really what the brand is about. Uh, you know what? Th then, then my job is done here. You know, and that's that's pretty much all it, all it's about. Phil, I mean, your reach on its own is already huge. I'm I'm honored to be able to be on the 
that uh, Auto Fanatic extension umbrella. And, I mean, I'm really excited about the things that you have in place and the things that you're planning. And uh, I'm here to keep that momentum and build that momentum. To come up and meet with you would be something that I would most certainly honor and cherish, you know. And it, 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 I, I'm at a loss for words right now. So, I mean, because there's so much that we just spoke about that my brain is overloaded. But I'm so excited to be a part of this and, um, you know, to be a part of be able to help any momentum that you're building and continue to get and push any kind of um, things that you need pushed forward. Like I said, check your GoFundMe. I have some really awesome customers. Uh, I consider them friends uh, all over the United States, Canada, abroad. And uh, don't be surprised if you see that GoFundMe go up real soon when this video goes live. And send me your address. I'll get the boxes sent out from the warehouse next week. And then when you get everything, if you have any questions, you, know, you can either go to my videos to learn about it, go to the website, or just reach out to me direct, and uh, I'll just give you a quick chat, and we'll talk about okay. it, and I'll tell you how to use it. But the trick is, you got to take what I give you, and you got to make money. So if I'm going to give you, yes. listen, this is a goal. Put this in, in relative perspective. I give you $1,000 worth of stuff. Let's say you get some more money from the GoFundMe. So out of $1,000, I want you to make in the, I don't know, in the first month, I want you to make that $1,000 back. Done. You know, I don't care what you got to do. Even if you got to go watch some, you know, some, some school buses, just do it. Done. Done, Phil. I mean, I, I already told you, I was uh, already going door to door in my neighborhood, uh, lining up potential clients, got, you know, got that potential fleet contract in, in the mix. So once I, once, once I get your products, Phil, they're going to be used right away. I'm going to open them up live on social media. I'm going to make sure that every day I go about, you know, uh, uh, monitoring my progress and using your materials. I didn't uh, mention to you before, too, I went on an interview yesterday. I actually got a job at JT's Truck and Detailing Trucks that I start on Monday. Go ahead and start uh, perfecting my craft. Well, that's what it is. Listen, you, you got to start somewhere, man. And listen, when I, when, I, when I started detailing cars, I was 13 years old, and I was, you know, in local body shops that my dad kind of hooked me up with, and they would just throw this young kid in the corner, you know, with a 22 pound machine and say, hey, make the car look good. Not telling me what to do, not telling me how to do it. And I would just be observing the other guy in the shop and trying to like, you know, learn on my own. And uh, like today, you know, listen, we have an advantage today. You got, you know, videos and you got, we didn't have that back in the days. So we, we, you, you learned by mistake. You made a mistake. You had to pay to paint that car, you know, so. Hey, Phil, that, in my, in my experience, Exactly. Jump in and start I'll never forget. I'll never forget it. Uh, when I when I first held my first rotary buffer, I was my buddy Rob. He uh, he gave me his Black and Decker buffer, which I ended up buying when I turned 15. But it, when I was 13, I held the buffer, and he put the 3M paste compound. This stuff was like thick, like glue. And he took a wood he took a wood paddle. He put it on the wool pad. He goes, Hey, go over to that trunk and buff it out. And it was a black car. I had this big heavy machine. I put it on 4,000 RPM. I burned the paint in about 10 seconds. He says, you see what you did? I says, well, yeah, I see what I did. He goes, don't ever do that again. <laughs> that was, and that was, the, that was the first and last time I ever burnt a paint on any car in my life. Look at, look at that. I mean, that, look, that's, that's a phenomenal story, Phil. Phil, I'm, I feel, I'm, I'm really, I, I don't know if you're still filming or what, but I'm really humble uh, and I'm, I'm extremely grateful, Phil, to you, Bob. Um, for uh, reaching out to me and all, you know your contributions. Now, anytime, man. Listen, you get you got a good story. You know, a lot of people reached out to me. You know, they all had relevant stories as well. But your story was a little bit more. Your story was a little bit more personal, and and I felt like that was. I want to do something a little bit bigger because initially, when I when I launched that little Instagram clip, I said, Hey, I'm going to give you guys this buffer, but I want you to pay me 125 dollars just because I wanted to make sure you were serious. Because like I said, if you say you're going to give stuff away for free. You're gonna get everybody out of the world work that just want. They got their hand out. I don't. I don't really yep. want that. So I said, if I could, if I, if somebody pays one twenty five, they're probably gonna be serious that they want it. You know. Yes. So, in that regard, with you, I'm not taking money from you. I don't. I don't want to do that. This is a little bit of a different scenario because I, I want you to become part of this lifestyle, and I want to jumpstart you and get you off your feet, so you could, you know, have the financial freedom. You could take care of your mother. You could, you know, eventually get. To that next step in your life, and not worry about paycheck to paycheck, and you make your own, you know, your own schedule, and you could have financial freedom, and you know, by using the skills and services that you're going to provide to people. I'm so ecstatic right now, Bill. I am so ecstatic. I, I mean, like, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be just 
as relaxed and as calm as possible to be. I'm so humbled by this experience. This is, this is amazing. Like I said, all I ask is is do it. You know, make us proud. It's going to get done. Yeah, show it. Show us your hard work. And like I said, don't sleep little, work more. That's that's what you got to do in the beginning. You got to you got to work hard, man. Uh, it's not it's not easy. You're gonna you know there's gonna be times where you're gonna struggle, but then there's you know there's gonna be times where you're gonna catch a break. But I gotta shoot back to the shop now. Uh, we gotta get the soaps uh, freaking production run you know finished, boxed and shipped, and I got stuff going all over the place. But send me your address. We'll talk soon. Uh, everybody, go to his GoFundMe if you want to learn more about his story. Uh, this video should probably you know just influence that and help you guys a little bit. Go to my website as well if you want to learn a little bit about my story and uh, charitable donations and stuff we're gonna be doing in the future. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Hit the web store up, auto-fanatic.com. Thanks to everyone around the world for all the support and everything you guys do. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I wouldn't have a brand that is being sold around the world. So stay tuned to the channel for more content. Brandon, I'll see you, guys. I'll see you soon. Please send me you your email. Tell. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. And thank you to all your fans. Thank you so much, Bill. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.